We're on. Okay, um, this time we're going to run a blow work on um, one of our survey questions for today. The survey question is already in discussion for in the survey slot. Um, so we select the patient, we go to the invoice, uh, and then we're going to add the pre op blow work for today. Um, So we select that one and then we have this little box right here where we have our laboratory request and we are going to make sure we have the IBS to send out and uh, get that lab to, to run in office. So we have this save and generate ID, so we're going to click on that one to say I'm going to generate our uh, ID number, so that way the, uh, the, um, when the blower uh, finished, they can transfer all the results to the, to, to, the, to the record. Okay, so right here we have all the information that we need for our patient. So we got right here to our lab station. Um, this is the main screen for the live station, so we select Analyze Sample. We are going to start with the patient name. Is and then you, where do you go to get this information, the result ID? Uh, not just yet. We are going to uh, add it to, to, to this uh, screen. Okay. Yes. The, what do you mean? The ID number is right there, so we are going to use this number and transfer it to this computer right here. Okay. So. So once you order, already enter the patient once, she'll pre-populate for you. Uh, well, yes, um, but uh, this uh, this patient is a, is a new patient, so this, this one is not in the system. Uh, it, uh, most of those patients and uh, they uh, pop out that they we have one blood work already. So, so this is not the patient you're doing now, the one that was already pulled up? Uh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, okay, hold on just a second, yeah. Um, yes. You go down here to get the client okay. ID. Yeah. 19147. Yeah, this one is already in, in the systems, yeah, so see, it's right there, so I'm going to uh, tap on, on this one. So we select. So now we we'll just go to the to the next. And if she wasn't in the system, you would have entered you it. You have to enter everything. Okay. Yes, yes. So now we we select the doctor, Doctor Osowski. She's the, the one who's taking care of this patient. So we have to type in eleven point nine four. And now, right here is where we're going to add. So all the requisition ID, ID comes yes. from the result ID. Yes. So, so here's the result ID. Okay. So it's 127 063. And then, okay. Now we have all the uh, uh, lab, uh, I mean, the uh, analyzers. Analyzers, uh -huh. yes. We're going to use the prosite and the catalyst. And then just tap run, and, and then you and go over here. We go to this um, machine right now. We're going to, to use a fresh new sample if it's already in, in the rocker. So just open and close, close the door, and run the sample. Okay. And this one uh, takes approximately two minutes to run the blower with the CBC. Now we go to the catalyst, which is the one that is going to run the, the chemistry. We select the patient. Tap on the patient, select the patient, and then we're going to use plasma. So you pick plasma because you decide to spin it down, yes. okay. Yeah, 
I know this blood's got to work, but can, while it's running, can you show me how it goes back into the file when you get through loading this blood work? Oh, yeah. Okay. And I still have you going. Just because it makes a nice video. Okay. I'm, no, just tap on. Oh, watch it as much as I may. Give me my slides. Ah, uh, because I, I had him talking to me and he forgot to load his slides. Yeah. All my fault. Watching is so smart and that will be so things I wish you So you're loading a chem tin right there. Our site's ready. This one takes approximately six minutes to run the complete chemistry. Okay. And that's it. And pretty much, uh, you don't have to do anything, the machine itself.